So I walked 16 miles today. day plus six but I want to tell you about something I did on day plus four the 16 miles man that my legs were jello they were in so much pain um, but the story behind that is that I have another buddy I know that went to Emory and he set the floor record which up here at Emory 10 laps around the area that you're staying at is one mile so he asked like well, what's the most anybody's uh, walked you know he set the record of 150 laps, so I had to beat that. So, what I ended up doing is tracking every one of my laps, and I ended up doing 162 laps, which equals out to 16 miles and 34,000 steps. Needless to say, I was very tired. <laughs> but, moving on from that, I want to talk to you guys about where I'm at with particularly things. For example, Prograph. If you're getting a bone marrow transplant, you already know about bone. <laughs> Take two. Prograph. Uh, Prograph is the graft versus host protector kind of drug that they put you on. I get mine through an IV. Uh, I get it for about four hours a day, and I will continue to get that until I leave, most likely. I am also on a different type of chemo. I no longer get chemo transfusions. I now get chemo through an IV. And that is methotrexate. Methotrexate I get on day plus one, day plus three, day plus six, and day plus 11. So I will get one today and I won't have another one for about five more days. Um, today I've also developed my first, I would say, inconvenient chemo symptom. Um, I've got mucositis in my throat. Mucositis? Ugh. English take two. Mucositis of my throat. So, it kind of it feels like I have mucus in my throat, and every time I swallow, it's, it, it, it's sore. It's not quite like a sore throat, it's just like this thing. It's like I swallowed a pill, and it just won't go down, and it's very uncomfortable. But I will take it over mucus, uh, mucus. seriously? How many times am I gonna do this? <laughs> Mucositis of the mouth, where you have these horrible, horrible ulcers, which I got during my induction round. Um, over the next few days, things should stay the same. Like I said, I'm gonna get that one last dose of methotrexate on day plus 11. Um, I have not quite hit the basement yet. Um, that's where I'm gonna feel the worst. Um, and once I kind of recover from that, once my A and C levels get good again, which is your absolute neutrophil count, that's what they judge based off of. That's how they can see, uh, what kind of an immune system is this guy rocking? You know? So once you have at least a baby immune system, you can survive some pretty basic stuff. Um, they'll send me help. And I will have to live close to the hospital for a month, two months. Kind of depends on how things go. Um, I will be doing that at another location here in Atlanta that's maybe like an eight minute drive from the hospital. So I still don't get to go home yet, but it's better than being stuck in a hospital room every night. Well, that's all I have for today. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys again real, real soon.